what's up guys welcome back to another video so here we have our tires that we ordered from tire streets and these are for the r34 now we're just waiting on the wheels to arrive speaking about the wheels they just got here as i showed you guys earlier i got the acelera tires acelera 285 35 18 i got four of the exact same size i just got these just to test them out see how they ride if they ride good it, you can't beat the price so i ended up getting these for now just temporary just to test them out and then i'll get some middles anti 555s later on in the future but with that being said we got the tires we got the wheels now let me show you guys what wheels we got for the r34 so here we have the t37s cells these are 18 by 10 and a half with a plus 15 offset let me flip this around so you guys can see Five by 114.3 and this is a squared setup so it's the same size all around all four are the same size so these are actually the dash white t37 SLs. and one thing i did not like is that they came with red decals i don't know why they didn't do the blue og decals but i mean it's not up to me i don't like the red so i'm going to be running the blue og decals on them this red decal here is fine and so is the valve stem cap i might just run this red one for now and later on down the road swap it out but for now i'm going to end up running this one So the T37s are on and man, I gotta say these things look insane on this R34. One thing I don't know about is, so I think I might change this valve stem right here. I don't really like the red on this with the blue. I don't know, it might look good. These are just temporary, don't worry about those. But honestly, that actually doesn't look too bad. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Man, these wheels look so crazy against the Bayside blue. Just look at this like, perfect fitment they're gonna go in a little camber in a little bit more once the car goes down especially once i lower it as you can see it's like perfect fitment with the gtr recorders and with the z2 front fenders te 37 sls 18 by 10 and a half with a plus 15 offset squared setup all around but man the perfect r34 gtr fitment i know this is not a gtr but has a gtr panel to be equivalent to a gtr Cannot wait to get the tires on this thing. All right, so I'm gonna end up running these Volk raised decals on the wheels. The way these things go is you look at where the valve stem goes and that is the bottom section centered. So the decals would go on this spoke and this spoke here. So we're gonna go ahead and throw these decals on. After we do that, we're gonna go ahead and get the tires mounted onto the wheels. Once we get the wheels back from that, we're gonna go ahead and ceramic out the wheels and I'll show you guys that whole process. So the blue Volk raised decals are finally on and I gotta say it makes the wheels look that much better and the blue actually doesn't look bad with the red decal down here. So I might just keep that. I'm not sure, we'll see down the line. I could always just take that off, put a new one on. I feel like these decals are the best decals for the white TE37 SLs and you can't change my mind about this. So I don't like the red ones that it came with. I don't like that style because I feel like it covers the whole spoke and these are just like, I mean, they're they're medium size, but they're more subtle than that big, huge decal on the side of the spoke. These wheels look amazing. I might go ahead and try these on the car so you guys can see what they look like with the blue Volt decals. If not, then I'm just going to go ahead and go get the tires on. I think they're one of the best wheels out there. There is a lot of good wheels out there, but I think they're one of the best. These are the ones I decided to go with. How can I not vlog this? We're setting up the R34. We saw this Lego picture of the R34, so we're not replicating it exactly but we're trying to do something like that with this r34 and this is our only opportunity to do this because we have the tires off when else am i going to have a chance to do this so i thought this would be the perfect time to do this shoot dude this is crazy got the homie rv over there homie and crazy oh oh we got the drone Got these lights off now and this thing looks pretty crazy just running those one over there one in the back man check it out holy <laughs> it's crazy in person you can see it go from that light lighter blue to the purple and then back to this blue crazy 
Got the T-37 up there. Dude, this is insane. I got the 651 tires installed onto the T37s and now we're going to go ahead and clean them up, ceramic coat them and install them onto the car. And I know you're really not supposed to touch the ceramic coating, you're supposed to let it dry for a few days before you mess with it. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to ceramic coat them and then try not to touch the face of the wheel, just touch the tire when I put them on. These things are going to look so good once they're on the car. These are 285 35 18s. But before I have all four on the car, I'm gonna go ahead and ceramic coat them using the Armor Shield ceramic coating. Hopefully, that makes it easier to clean these wheels, especially since they're white. So, I'm gonna use the IPA prep spray to clean them up first. After that, I'm gonna go ahead and just start ceramic coating. I'm gonna do one wheel at a time, of course. Do all four, we'll lift up the car, remove the old wheels, and throw on the new ones. Another thing I wanted to show you guys. I also ended up getting these racing composite R40 Iconics lug nuts. I had the older version of these on the R32 and I kind of liked how they look. These should look even better. Just for reference, put them in here. Yeah, these things are going to look killer. The cool thing about these too is you could take off these plastic caps. I might order the blue ones just to see what it looks like with the blue ones on. If I don't like it, I'll just run the black ones. So it comes with a set of 16 lug nuts and four locking lug nuts. So we're gonna go ahead and use those. We'll be using the same process that we use for the headlights on the R34. So I believe this is the Armor Shield 9 version. I use this application towel, wrap it around the block, use this card right here to push this towel into those crevices there. Go ahead and put a couple drops of this Armor Shield onto the towel on the block. Once you do that, you're just gonna go ahead and apply it and buff it off with this buffing towel. Before we do any of this, we gotta go ahead and clean it with the IPA prep spray. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up and then start ceramic coating. Look at these wheels. It's kind of hard to capture the shine on camera, but the ceramic coating actually made the wheels a lot shinier. I, I did not touch the wheels as I installed them because they do need to sit for, I believe, a few days for the ceramic coating to cure. I try to be as careful as I could when installing them and I did not touch them. Just give it a week just to be safe. Got the homie Dylan's Nismo parts plug decal right there. Let's take a second to admire this beauty. This thing has come such a long way from where it used to be and the white T37s wrapped in 651 tires makes this car pop, makes this car look a million times better. This thing looks so crazy. There is some touch-ups I have to do, so as far as the height, I'm gonna leave it like this until I swap the clutch out, do what I need to do underneath the car. It does have coilovers, but I'm not gonna lower it just yet. Eventually, I will drop the car as low as I can go without trying to ruin the front end. As far as the depth, of the wheels as you can see they're still kind of like the wheels do go in just a bit maybe a camber kit would fix that if we straighten out the wheels we might end up running some 10 or 15 mil spacers on the rears the front actually do not look too bad These are actually on point with the fenders as i lower the car i'm gonna have to check to see if i'm gonna need spacers the fronts look just about right but 
they could cave in a little bit once I lower the car, but the camber kit would fix that. So maybe the front, we might not have to run a spacer, but the rear definitely gonna have to run a 15 mil spacer. As you could see, the tire is like on point with the fender. So once the car is lowered, there'll be less of an emptiness in there. And then to fill in the rest of the tire gap, that little emptiness, so tires are black obviously, so it looks like an empty space there. So to fix that issue, we're gonna go ahead and throw on some tire lettering on these tires. So stay tuned because that video is coming up next. The car is coming along just as I imagined it. This thing is gonna be crazy, so stick around. Thank you guys so much for watching.